What is up guys, it's Yashibu. I got a video going over the uh, arena update in Elden Ring today. And it is just pure chaos, these 3v3s. They are wild. It's, it's definitely a really nice change of pace from constantly invading and being outnumbered and stuff, but the much like typical multiplayer games like Halo, for instance, the, the like um, difference in skill becomes very apparent very quickly. So like you just end up totally dunking on people. And that's, that's what happened in this one. This is the second one I did. Um, and it was, it was I, had, I had good teammates. The first one I had like wizard teammates uh, just completely got slapped because, you know, wizards are bad. So it ended up not really working out in my favor at all. It was just a bad match, so I didn't include it. But this one was good. I had, I had very good teammates. That one of them saves me a couple times here. But, um... Another thing, they, they changed the way stamina management works in the arena, so like it's more fair. I hope you can still wave dash and regain stamina like you normally do, but in this, it, um, like wave dashing doesn't do anything. If you look, I'm just eating my stamina. I was having trouble understanding why I was just running out of stamina constantly, and that's what it was. It just took me a minute to notice. Um, I kind of like it and dislike it. You know, if you could just wave dash and constantly have stam, I guess it's kind of an uneven playing field, maybe? But, I don't know. It's definitely fun, though. I did um, I did 2v2s, I did, I did 3v3s um, with a couple of friends. I got those clips included as well. Yeah, you can see it's it's just wild. It's just it's literally just chaos. Half the time, you can't even tell like who to attack. Like, who they, I mean, I guess it's relatively easy to see who's friendly and who's not. But even even sometimes, even that you mix up every once in a while because it really is just just pure chaos in in a good way though. And two v two is especially are really fun just because you know normally it's somewhat rare in invasions to get another red unless they choose to. In 2v2s though, it's definitely like a lot like a lot more fun. Because you actually can do it consistently, you know. It's it's nice. And of course I got the pigtails on. They look pretty sick. Cool update I guess. I mean I'm I'm excited to see how much more active it will be. Just because I was playing this at like four in the morning. It wasn't too active, but the, the very first one I got was an instant connection, so people are on, like, hyped for this. I think this is a good thing for the community overall. Yeah, good clips. Just a, just a romp and a riot. Goofy and wacky, silly, all those things. Yeah, it's just, and, and I like the implementation of how the heals work. Um, it, I don't really like it in duels. I have a duel clip coming up here. Um, just because you can chug in a duel once. I think in a in a 3v3 setting like this, it makes perfect sense. And FP is limited too. I'm pretty sure it's only one FP flask, which is awesome. I imagine people are just going to spam glint some breath. And I might have more clips for for this game mode here. I'm sure somebody's just gonna one-shot all three of us um, with Glintstone Breath, or I might even get a teammate that's doing that, that bullshit, but... Just cause you can just slap all three at once with that goofy spell. I don't know. I don't know. I still haven't read the password, so I, I have no clue. I don't know if it was changed. I'm sure it wasn't, cause, you know, this game hates us. Lance Gamer here. It's, it's a lot of trades. And another thing I've noticed is like the... Maybe it's just normal, typical Elden Ring trash, but like my phantom range with these lances is like insane. Like if, if you watch here, I don't know, one might come up, but like I hit somebody from the middle of nowhere 
with a Lancel one, like one that just makes no sense in any way. Just, yeah, it's just, just kind of ganking people <laughs> over and over again, but like everybody's doing it to each other. It's, it's fun though, it's fun. It's a good game mode, it, it can't be bad. I mean, you know, DS3 had it. It's even pretty similar in design, like the, oh, here it is, by the way. Here's the little area you go to. This is the one in Limgrave. It's uh, north of uh, Stormhill Shack, I think. Yeah, me just looking at it. But yeah, even in design, this is the duel. Even in design, it's similar to Dark Souls 3, which is which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, also the arena is bigger than, or maybe it's just changed textures. I don't know what's up. I remember seeing leaks for this stuff. Um, but it's, it's a big enough arena. I mean, maybe not quite big enough for 3v3s, but it's still okay. I, I waved at him, I thought the duel was done. I had to kill this guy nine times. This poor guy. I stopped recording just because it, it ended up just being depressing. But this, this is me in a 2v2, I think. Yep. Yeah, this is a 2v2 I did with my friend against this fucking slicer shitter. This fight is so uninteresting that I just fast forwarded. He he just runs and casts like like you know typical wizard shit, but like he, he goes for these weak ass turn and burns, but that's the thing, you have slicer, you have the ultimate turn and burn, and yet he never uses that. I run after him. Look at look at look at this dude. Like, like, whatever, you know, you're, you're spacing, you're using the spacing exploit, good for you, but like, I don't, you're just running the whole time. And he even, he, he, he can't even turn and burn right, he doesn't even know, he tries to gank, like, all he ever does is gank and run, so this, this dude's pastime is definitely sitting at the lakes and ganking. Also, I don't know about levels when it comes to this, I'm sure phantoms are still unscaled in typical Miyazaki fashion, but I don't, I don't know. Interesting exchange of point downs here. Just because he ran for that long, I didn't like him. And um, and then he, he he pops in and throws some swift pebbles at me and then points me down. So it's pretty good. I don't even know how the hell that hit me. Insane point down from Slicer guy over here. Yeah, we still won this fight, even though this guy was just playing like such a goober the whole time. Um, this poor guy, I don't, I don't know if they were teamed up, but this guy seems somewhat honest. You know, he's got Stormstorm Baymore. Like, he's he's chill with it. Um, yeah, then he breaks out the Comets. The typical wizard spam bullshit. Yeah, I, I pretty much got nothing um, bad to say about it, aside from like Phantom Range and like the... Um, I guess I'm neutral about the stamina management thing. I mean, he's free aiming those little... Whatever those casts are called. I'm, I'm not a wizard. Whatever he's doing there, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. Still, he's just, he's just running and being a stinky little slicer boy. So, whatever. Me just spamming lances like a shitter. Oh, there you go. And, and shit like that where, like, everybody dies except for you happens all the time. It's just... I'm excited to keep playing this. This is a reason to come back to the game. I was about to say there might be even more replayability value in a game mode like this, but no, invasions are the most unique encounters you're ever gonna get. That's the, that is peak, that is peak Elden Ring gameplay right there, or any Souls game gameplay. Invasions are just the highest form of playing real shit, but uh, so the audio broke, of course it did, because I'm on a fucking Xbox. So, but um, this was a <laughs> this was a three v three that I did with some uh, filthy Aussies. Yeah, shout out to these guys. These guys are cool. But um, I ended up two v twoing with that the other friend that was in the two v twos. We two v two together, um, and the latency between Australia and the U S is just something else. Like, I cannot hit these dudes almost ever. Like, roll catches don't even exist, which kind of deletes my playstyle because I'm a Lance shitter, so. But yeah, this was this was just really sad. We ended up just slapping the ever-living shit out of these guys. Like, in a way that made it not even fun. This guy gave up and just plopped on the ground. That's how bad this was, and I'm just, I'm just looking at him. 
And then I get epically countered by the little spawn thing, which is a cool inclusion as well. I'm also glad it doesn't do a lot of damage or something that would that would interrupt the, the gameplay, but... Yeah, we end up just chilling on the, on the little platform, and then, then we end up fighting again here. And, you know, still win, obviously, because, I mean, look, we, we have 21 kills on them already. It's, like, over. I don't think... I think we died a total of two times together in this. Like, there was just no shot anywhere. But, yeah, you know, it's fun, I guess. And then, I don't, the activity was just kind of weak again because it's super um, early in the day. And, you know, the patch just came out. The only people that are playing are the people who really wanted to play this, um, this update. But we ended up getting the same exact people. And then it just devolved into a DS3 fight club. Like we all just stand around and just do goofy, silly emotes, and this guy is a is a little lamp or whatever, whatever you want to call that. But it's it's just wholesome chungus, really. It's pretty good. And then I fight this guy, and it's it's a good time. I, I mean, I don't I don't think this is gonna happen often. This this interaction, the whole uh, we're gonna fight club now. But we really did slap him so bad that, and one of them left too. There's only two that that hung out. And decided to decided to fight us in a little fight club situation but yeah that's the video like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh i will see you guys in the next one